This is Brian with ICANN and today I'm going to show you the new Remote Air Pro 3 wireless follow focus system from PD Movie, and I'm going to show you how to set it up and I'm going to explain all the new features. So this is the PD4 HT wireless controller and so this is going to be able to control up to six different motors at the same time. Um, so in order to control all the motors we have zoom rockers here for the iris and then we also have a zoom rocker right here for the zoom. Um, and then we have the main focus wheel here where you can control the focus and to power it on you just simply put in the battery into the controller and then push the on off button which is red and you just hold that and then the unit will turn on. So another feature of this controller is that you can actually easily go from wireless to wired and in order to do this you just simply plug in the six pin limo input and it'll automatically switch over to a wired connection. So in order to automatically calibrate your lenses you just simply hold down either the focus, iris or zoom buttons and uh, it'll automatically calibrate to those if your lenses have hard stops on them. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up the single channel version, which is the PD4-S1, and that's only gonna be able to control the focus. So we're gonna be using the PD4-S1 with the Ursa Mini, uh, the Canon 24 to 105, and a 19 millimeter rod system. So the motors can be used with either 15 millimeter rods or 19 millimeter rods. Uh, they basically just come with an adapter for you to use it with a 15 millimeter rod system. So in order to connect the motor, all you have to do is just simply slide it onto the rail and line it up with the zip gear and then screw it on until it tightens. And then you wanna get your D-tap to six pin limo power cable and you wanna plug it into your battery plate and then plug in the six pin limo cable into the motor. All right, so in order to calibrate the motor, there's two ways you can do it. You can either do it automatically, which you would just simply push down the focus button and you would hold it until it automatically calibrates from one end of the lens to the other. Um, but since this lens doesn't actually have hard stops on both ends of the focus ring, we're gonna go ahead and do a manual calibration. So in order, in order to do the manual calibration, all you have to do is just manually move the lens from one end of the lens and then move it to the other end of the lens and then just simply move it back in towards the middle and then it's automatically going to go to the very center of the focus. And then from there you're already ready to start pulling focus. The Remote Air Pro 3 also comes with a two channel and three channel system. So that basically means if you have a lens that has manual control over the zoom, iris, and focus, you can basically just put you know, two motors and you can link them all together and you can control the zoom, iris, and focus. Uh, you know, to control the zoom, you would just simply use the focus wheel and we have zoom rockers on here for the iris and the zoom. And so you could actually control all three simultaneously. So on the PD4 HT controller, uh, it comes included with an LCD screen that shows you uh, an indicator for the, uh, the focus, iris, and zoom motors. It, it basically has a res resolution indicator. Um, you know, you can use this controller with up to six motors. So if you have a 3D system and you wanna basically pull focus on both cameras, um, you know, you can have like a, a dual system where it has, you know, on one camera it has three motors, on the other camera it has other three motors for the focus, iris, and zoom. For one camera it'll have FZI and it'll have the resolution indicator, and on the second camera it'll have XYZ, and those, that's the, uh, the resolution indicator for that camera. So another cool feature about the Remote Air Pro 3 is that there's an optional accessory available that allows you to start and stop the recording directly from the focus controller itself. So with the cable, it basically has a Y cable, and this one is gonna be the Lank version. So what you wanna do is go ahead and plug the DTAP cable into the DTAP battery plate. And then on the other end, which is this one is the Lank version, um, you wanna go ahead and plug the Lank into the Lank input of your camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in. And then you wanna put the other end into the receiver motor. So this is a six pin limo cable, and we're gonna go ahead and plug that directly into the motor and then you'll see that the motor is going to power up. And then on your PD4 HT controller, you'll see that it has an on and off and channel record. So 
basically in order to start and stop the recording all you have to do is simply just double tap that button and then it'll start the recording and then double tap it again and it'll stop it so it usually takes about maybe one second for it to you know register the the recording All right, so I'm gonna actually get a test shot here using the A and B start and stop points. So what the A and B start and stop points do is they allow you to use the full focus throw of the motor within those A and B points. Okay, so you can see here that whenever I don't have the A and B start and stop points set, um, it uses the entire focus throw of the lens whenever I move the wheel completely. So what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and focus on the background, which is focused right there, and I'm gonna go ahead and set the A point there. So to do that, I just push the focus button and then I'm going to go ahead and focus on the car and that's going to be my B point. So I'm going to set that and then you'll see that using the entire wheel, it only uses the range from the A and B start and stop points. 